This video is made possible by CodeNotary.io, tamper-proof notarization for all your digital objects. Welcome to the Moshix Mainframe channel, this is Sebastian. Today we are going to repair a mainframe. At our last IPL we saw a hardware message because of a broken van controller. This controller needs to be replaced. First off, it is not a big deal if some components break inside a mainframe because of the redundancy. It is still important to replace all the broken parts to prevent future outages. Now this time I was lucky, I already had the replacement part in stock. I knew things are going to break because this mainframe is already more than 10 years old, so I was prepared. There are two ways to do the repair. One is just uh, to power off the mainframe and change the part and then power it on again. And the second is to replace uh, the part while the mainframe is running. And that is the common way as mainframes aren't powered off that often. We can invoke the replacement process from the support element. And actually repairing a mainframe is much easier than repairing a standard PC because it shows you exactly what's wrong and where the faulty component is. It will also give you exact instructions. I looked up the part on eBay and it was just around a hundred dollars so it isn't even that expensive too. What I do now is I started the process and click through the steps. There are many safety instructions that I don't regard exactly and uh, those kinds of repairs are normally the job of hardware technicians from IBM, for example. So if the mainframe has a problem, it will notify IBM and if you bought the hardware support, uh, they will come and replace this uh, hardware stuff before you even know, probably. So the replacement part is called FRU, Field Replaceable Unit, in IBM terminology and the process is very detailed and shows that mainframes are really serviceable. Everything is well documented and described to support the different job roles on mainframes and the availability that is uh, expected. Now many checks are happening. The field replaceable unit is going to be deactivated so it has no power on it. I've put that in a time lapse because it is very boring. And after that we see the instructions of how to replace the actual a motor drive assembly, that's how the broken controller is called. We see now exactly where the component is located in the mainframe. It is in the A frame on the left side. We have to make sure it has no power on it and it has the correct number on it. After that we can remove the component and again we get exact instructions with pictures to do everything right. I will perform now the steps to remove the component. First off I have to unplug the cables. After that I use the mainframe tool to loosen the screws. I call it mainframe tools because I haven't seen them anywhere else and they are being shipped with mainframes. Then I simply remove the device and we can move on to the next step. You might have guessed it, the next step is to install the replacement part. And again we have a nice picture and steps that are helping us. Installing the replacement part is really the same process as seen before, just the other way around. After that the field replaceable unit is being activated and if everything works fine our mainframe is in good shape again.
I can tell you this repair was successful and as you see it is very easy to do. We can now look into what was wrong with the original component but that's another topic. I hope you enjoyed the video and I could show you that working on mainframe hardware is quite fun. Thank you for watching and goodbye.